Hey there. Well, today what I'm going to be doing is, is planting my pawpaw seeds that I had in stratification. Stratification. Uh, I got a little uh, an apartment size refrigerator there, had a thermometer, kept an eye on the temperatures and uh, kept them moist inside of peat moss and they've been in there for all, almost a hundred days. They say uh, 80 to 120 days. That's just about 100 days. I'm actually, I'm, it is 100 days. I'm 10 days shy of 120 days. Anyways, that being said, I have my pot with the medium already set up. Right here, I have uh, peat moss, which they were in that peat moss. And one thing I have to say is that when I took them out, there was no mildew. So the peat moss is still good. And what I'm going to do is, is set this peat moss to the side. Because I will be using it a little bit later and I'll show you why. Now, I'm going to put these on this side. And I'm going to pull them out of here. They're in a bowl with water to keep them moist. Whatever you do, do not allow them to dry up. And something that I'm going to do this year that I think will probably help me out a little bit is, is normally that, that pawpaw seed, let me grab a good flat one. There's a good flat one. See how flat that is? You can see the, how wide it is and everything. And normally what I've been doing is, is sticking them in just like that. But this time, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to lay them on their side. And the reason being is that tap root's going to come out and it's going to go the way gravity dictates for it to go. And as it lifts up, it's going to have more weight onto the seed and try to prevent seeds from coming up out of the ground with the stem attached. So I'm going to place these roughly about a half inch apart from one another. I'm going to line up all the way around that pot and just push them in a little bit. Mind you, keep an eye on these openings I want that opening to the inside, not to the outside, to where it can get good dirt contact. And I'm just going to keep going around in a circle until I meet up. I got three pots set up. Got a total of uh, 95 seeds. And this is how I've been starting them. And when they get going pretty good, I can take them out of these pots here and pot them up individually. So I'll try to get as much production out of them as I possibly can. I don't even know how many seeds I got in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, there's 14. And I'm just going to keep going in the direction that I'm going. Turning the pot. And until I meet up from where I started. Oops, turn that one backwards. There's my first row. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty of them encircling that pot. Now let's continue on with what I'm doing here. Seven, twenty-eight of them. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, one more right there. Thirty-two. 
And then I'm going to stick three of them right here. 33. And 35. 35 pawpaws in that one pot. Now, let's set this to the side. Now, mind you, like I said, I laid them on their side in this manner versus sticking them in this way. And the reasoning behind that is, is <clears throat> as a layer of dirt is on top of that pawpaw, it's like this, there's a less resistance and it's liable to, as a root pushes down, it's liable to pull this up and it cause it to come out of the ground. But I got a reason to believe that pawpaws laying on their side, that's going to be natural out in the wild. Out in the wild, they're not going to stand up out in the wild like that. See, it's laying on its side. So I'm going to lay it on its side. And the reason behind that is, is I want that resistance. More mass dirt covering up, more mass, or not mass dirt, but more mass of the seed being covered up by the dirt. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the peat moss that I used uh, to stratify the pawpaws in. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cover up the seeds with that peat moss. Now, the medium down inside has amenities, has perlite, stuff like that inside, and mixed in with the dirt. And what I'm doing here is, is just going to layer the peat moss on top. And when I water that in, which is going to happen here in a little while, what I'm going to have is, is a heavier medium, it's more dense, so I won't get, won't have to worry about the pawpaws being lifted up out of the ground as far as the seeds lifted up out of the ground as much by doing it this way. I've done it this way once before and we're going to take this pot, I'm going to set it to the side. And we're going to grab another pot right here. Well, actually, see, if I had 95, and I took 35 out of the mix, that leaves me 60. I do have a bigger pot set up right here. Let's see how many I can get in this bigger pot before I decide to use that pot there. Now, this right here is a three-gallon pot. That pot there was a two-gallon pot. And this pot here is a deeper pot. Try to even out the dirt on it a little bit and compress it so I have room to add peat moss to the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start rocking with these. Mind you, that you know, when you look at, at the pawpaw seed itself, you'll see a little slit on one side of the seed. And what I'm doing is, is I'm placing that slit more to this direction right here, to where the slit is towards the inside uh, of the pot, towards the center of the pot. Have you, that way, the root's not growing up against the side of the pot. It's actually going to be down in the dirt where I want it to be and continue on doing this and see what happens and when they germinate and what I'll have is a little tiny forest a little, little it'll look like a bush when they all come up and of course you know it'll be time to separate them and it's not hard to do this 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 right here has been the way that I've been doing it for a while now as far as setting these seeds up for germinating and I'm just going to continue on doing this and we'll see how many we can get inside this pot. I'm going to get a lot more in this pot than the other one.
right here behind me, as you can see, I got a bunch of seedlings. They were outside being stratified, or not stratified, but uh, set into dormant outside there. And I brought them in to wake them up. Probably have to give them another year. Uh, those were seedlings that came from a family member's house. Now I got to start on a new row here. I'm not even going to count these. I'm just going to put them in here and just move on. Because I know I got 60 of them left over. And the last pot that I do, I'll just figure out how many's in here with how many I get in that next pot. Because it's not going to be 30 in that next pot. No way, no how. There's going to be a total of three pots here that's being used. Newton's right here, I'm spacing out just a little bit more than that one right there. Uh, because it's a much bigger pot and I got more room to play with. Because these ones right here, I may not take out of the pot uh, this year. The uh, two gallon pots, I'll take them out of the pot this year. This one right here, I think I'll leave them be in the pot this season and wait until next year to take them out of the pot and give them, because they're going to have plenty of room for a tap root there. It's just going to be a matter of working with it. And three for the center. I think, well, looks like I'm going to get four in there to the center. There's probably about 40 of them in there. Now we got to take my peat moss, throw it on top. Popeye or pawpaw dirt cake. <laughs> this is something that I enjoy doing. I mean, it's just the idea of being able to deal with growing things and seeing the satisfaction of that which you've done. That's the reward for me. And this one right here, I'm going to set over here out of the way because I'm going to water it. I got a drain in the floor. And then I'm going to set this right here and let that be the end of the, what it was I was doing. Plenty of water because as that water seeps through that pot it's going to pull the dirt down it's going to settle down in there now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this right here and figure out how many pawpaw seeds I do have in here I don't want to bore you with it, but that's my way of starting the pawpaw. You get that pot down here and, and water it also. But just something that I wanted to share with you. I hope uh, it's something that you may have picked up on that, that I do that maybe you'll give it a try as well. Now, mind you, the peat moss that I have right here, it didn't have any mildew in there from being in the refrigerator. I did chestnut seeds uh, yesterday and it had mildew in there. I cleaned the seeds up and the peat moss, I threw it out because of that mildew. This in here did not have any mildew in it. So I'm able to reuse it to weigh the pawpaws down inside, the pawpaw seeds down inside of the pot and allow just that stem to come up because that peat moss is, is dense. Once you get it wet, it's dense. It works great for me. Some people use sand. I use the peat moss because I'm using peat moss anyways to do the stratification. And like I said, if it doesn't have any mildew, peat moss is good to use on these right here. Anyway, it's just something I wanted to share with you. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. And don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.